Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today we're going to do a origami, a origami swan. I want to show you guys how to make this because a lot of videos out there just fold and show you but I would like to actually talk and tell you what to do and how to do it. Now I have an A4 print paper here because you actually need a square to make this origami. So what we're going to do is actually take this point, the end here, or any other point, doesn't really matter, and we're going to fold this into a square. So we're going to align it right at the edge. Now, take your time doing this because this can be tricky. So yes, I am using gloves because I have a lot of nasty scratches on my hand. So, so now we made a triangle shape that is now doubled as a beautiful square. Oh. So this piece we need to remove. Now you can do it in two ways. You can actually cut it off with a pair of scissors or you can use this method and actually folding it so actually fold it you can also fold the other side I preferably would like to do it the other way around so align it with the bottom there so you have it beautifully and also align it here on this side with this the first layer underneath and then just run your finger around it and then the side of your nail and just push it down to actually make it more flexible. Not too hard because then you can rip it. So what we're going to do now is do the other side. Also use the nail. So now we have this soft flap. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to start with the top here, Just ripping off the edges, they're always most annoying, so we're going to squeeze my two thumbs and fingers here and just peel it off, Just starting at the top. Now then, you're going to push down with your hands, palm of your hands, and then just, and just turn like this. Like one part, the right is going clockwise and the other is counterclockwise. So I'm going to push down and then squeeze and then twist. See that? That happens often. What you also can do is then turn around and then go from the other side. I'm just going to let this go. What sometimes also helps is actually using an edge. An edge of a table or edge of a glass or some rails and then just cutting off as well helps but using scissors is the best so now we have this first line we're gonna make a second line so we're gonna fold it the other way around and then we have this cross or plus shape and then we're going to fold it into a rectangle. Take the edges, so the side edges. I'm using my thumb and my fingers to actually push it down. So now we have a line there. And we're going to actually create a star shape. So we need one here as well. And we're going to fold it again. We have this beautiful star-shaped line here, 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 and here. So now, all right. So let's make this a little easier by folding it both sides. So we just folded one side. We're going to do it the other side as well. So make it a little bit flexible. 
I was actually hoping that we could do it without folding it on both sides, but we need to do it. So once you've done that, it starts being a little flexible. So what you're gonna do, I thought it was very easy, fold it like a triangle, a rectangle, sorry, and then push this inside. So what you want to do is create this. This is what you want to do. So you're gonna actually keep pushing it, peeling it at different angles. So you actually have this plus on this side, or this side, or this side, doesn't remember. So take this part and then actually pushing it together, creating a plus or an X. Once you've done that, you're going to push it down to make this beautiful rectangle. So one part is closed, so this part is closed, this part is open. So you also have this flat in the middle and then a closed part on that. So that's three layers, one, two, and three. So this is the closed part, right? So we're going to fold this part. What we're going to do is make... So what we're going to do... Sorry, a little distracted. Um, so what we're going to do is make a kite. So we're going to make a kite shape. Stick the other side. Align it with the line in the middle. Turn around. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side now you can use a ruler or anything else to make it perfect but for this video and f just because you're doing this for the first time or maybe second time just to get the feel and idea for this and then later on you can use rulers and measurements and everything so once we did that we'll make this beautiful kite and we're going to fold this top part, this triangle here. And we're going to just do it until that line. So we're going to push it down. Try to align it with the opening here. Looks a little weird here, but that's okay. So we're going to turn it around and do it on the other side as well. Push it all the way down. Force it a little bit. There we go. So now we're that we've done that, we're gonna open up. Twist it a little bit. Make it more flexible. Because you see the, the other part there. So once we did that, you're gonna open up the flat. Like the first flat I talked about. So we have three. One, these are two, and then the last one is the third one. So we're gonna open up the first one. And you're gonna actually push it up. You're gonna push it up. You're gonna fold this part up. This line needs to be down. Doesn't need to go up as well. And we're gonna straighten this up. Straighten up. Push it all the way down. Laying down the second layer. Pushing all the way. And then straightening up. So use your fingers. There you go. And then you have this like a diamond shape, elongated diamond shape. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So the first layer here. Now actually a third layer. I'm gonna push it all the way up. Take the middle, push it down at the bottom make it easier for yourself and then straighten this out and then push it down try to align it there we go 
use your fingers. If you want to use your nails, you can also use your nails. Be careful there. So now we did this. Now we have this part. Now this is the bottom. This is open, that's good. What we're going to do is we're going to take the first side, first layer side, and we're going to create another kite. The kite shaped version. So this one is going to be a little smaller and different. But this is the same principle. We're going to fold it in until the line here. So take the first layer and then fold it up, align it, and then push it in with your fingers or your nails, whatever you want. We're going to do the same thing here. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. You can perfect it later on. Align that piece as well. Once you've done that, you're going to open it up. So we have this part, flaps on the bottom. What we're going to do is take the first layer here and then open it up. Do this at the other side as well. So we have the opening on the top here. So what we're going to do now, so now we have this and we're going to actually open this up. Bring it toward, towards the middle and then pushing it down with your nails or thumb, twist it. See this line here? We're gonna go until there. Take it in the center, push it down. Now we have this. So these two lines here, that's where we wanna be. If you have the double lines, you're wrong. You need to do it again. You need to go back, open it up, and get these two lines the opening on top. So once we get this, we're gonna open it up and go back to those double lines that we made. So push it down, all the way down, squeeze it good. If you wanna use your fists, you can use your knuckles, you can use your nails, whatever you want to do to flatten that up. And now we're almost finished. So now we have these two flaps here. So we're going to push this one, take the tip here, hold this down, don't push it, just hold it down. And then push this all the way down until it opens. So we're going to correct this a little bit. So we have two options. One option is align this, so this will be the head, um, or tail, doesn't really matter, but for me this is the head, and we want to align it with the first point. You can do it also with the second point, and just for this video I'm going to do it on the first point, and I push this bottom part down, so to actually secure it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to push this down till the first line and then squeeze the bottom part. So, what we're going to do is take a piece here, just a small piece. You can take a very small piece or a big piece. But we're going to open this up because we folded it. It wasn't really perfect, but. We fold it and we're going to open it up to actually bend the piece and bend it all over and you're going to use your nail to squeeze it in. So you're going to bend it in and then squeeze. And there's your head. That's the tail. So now the wings. Now the wings, you have these points here and you're going to actually fold them until there. The other side as well. And voila. 
There you go. You have your origami. There are a couple of uh, other secrets that you can do. Um, one of them is actually, no secrets, it, little hacks. So these bottoms here, which as you can see, has an angle. So we're gonna actually straighten this out. So what we're gonna do is use your nail, push it towards you, and create little feet for the swan to actually stand up right. So make them flat. So what you're actually creating is a flat surface, uh, like a straight surface. Squeeze a little bit. Make the wings good. And voila, you have a standing origami. Now, second thing, you can actually open up the wings and then push this center, push it down. Don't force it too much, but in this case, it looks like, yeah. Just take up the flat sides here and just push it in. So you have this nice lump. So a standing origami with a lump there. Another trick is making the wings a little bit more nicer. So you're gonna actually use your thumb, open up a piece, and we're gonna push, see this line here? So we have this folding line. We're gonna do it, we're gonna push it upwards. And we're gonna push it down, only this side. So we have this. So again, use your thumb and use this line that we folded. Push it towards this line with your thumb and then squeeze only that part you have this you can bend the wings a little bit give it a nice effect you can do different types of tricks different type of things but you can you can do whatever but this is the basic this is my video i hope you enjoyed it so again thanks again don't forget to subscribe, a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.